So in this video I'm just going to be showing you guys how to properly fit the Superfeet yellow footbeds to your current skates. And um, what you're going to need for this video is obviously your new footbeds as well as the um, footbed that's in your current skates. Um, you can see this is the left Superfeet and this is the left um, footbed for my um, skates that I'm currently using. Because what you're going to be using is you need your old skates um, footbed as a template to cut the um, Superfeet one into the perfect shape to have it fitted in. You're going to need the um, new footbed, your previous footbed, a pen or in my case a marker which is much easier to write on these sort of materials and a pair of scissors or if you have an electric um, cutter that would work really well as well but this is um, the basics of what you're going to need so what we're going to be doing first is just matching up the heel portions of the footbeds if I just bring them up you'll notice that um, in this part of the video I'm not going to be um, having the footbed so they're um, completely in line with each other like that I'm going to have the heel of the um, previous footbed, the one that's going to be replaced, slightly um, sticking out like that, as you can see there. But the heel cup is uh, nice and situated inside the um, Superfeet's heel. So there's a nice example there for you. There will be pictures and a written tutorial in the video description, if you guys would prefer to read rather than um, watching the video. And from there, I'll just show you what we do with the um, top part of the footbed. So after adjusting the heel correctly, as we showed you previously, you want to move on to the um, forefoot of the um, footbed. For this area over here, as we said, I'm using my left um, uh, footbeds. So what you need to do at this point is make sure that the point where your the ball of your foot is, is going to be is completely um, in line with the new footbed that you're replacing it with. So I'm just going to scooch that over to the side, just make sure it's in line. And then from here, as we said, just make sure the heel's sitting correctly, as we showed you earlier on in the video. I'm just going to double check mine. That's fine. Make sure that point's fine as well. And then over here what we're going to do is just draw around it with the marker. And there you go. Now I've got the um, outer line that I need to then trim round. What I've done, you can see I've used quite a thick marker over there. Without, um, obviously you might think you want to use a thin one, but what I'm doing over there is because I've used a thick one, I'm going to cut round the outer point of that thick marker line, and then I'm going to file it down to get a nice smooth finish so I don't have rough jagged edges around the footbed. So that's the reason I've used a bit of a thicker marker. You don't have to do this. If you're not too fussed about the um, footbed being nice and smooth and um, having a clean finish, then you can just cut it with scissors and just um, go ahead and pop it straight into your skate. But this is just something that I um, like to do while I'm cutting mine into shape. Just going to go ahead and trim this now. Try to be as, as cautious as you can with this. As we said, I'm going to be cutting around the um, outer line of the um, thick black marker and then I'm going to be filing it down just to get a nice finish. But if I um, do manage to cut this neatly enough and I think it's good enough to just pop straight into my skate, if I'm happy with the result, then I'll just go ahead and do that. But one of the things that you just need to try and um, make sure that you're accurate with is while cutting around this uh, footbed because you want to get the um, the fit as, as accurate as possible because you don't want these um, going into your skates being a little bit too big because what will happen is that you get the corners of these um, wrapping up like a, around the toe point or maybe around the um, the ball of your foot point and what that would make you feel like while you're skating around is that you've got something inside your skate so that's why I'd recommend um, filing them down afterwards just to get a nice clean finish to make sure they fit into your skates properly without having to roll up at the corners because that can be quite irritating so I thought I'd show you for the proper fit and the right size um, the manual rather than performing the exercise myself because it was a lot more clear. In the first image at the top left it shows you a footbed that's been cut too short because the toe is either right at the end or slightly overlapping over the footbed which means that it's um, going to be too much of a, sh a small size for you. Over here you can see that that's the correct size, the toe has just a few millimetres off the end of the um, footbed which is what you want. And most importantly, at the bottom over here, which is the width, you can see that this is a narrow fit where the um, heel and the um, forefoot section around the arch as well are overflowing or overlapping over the footbed, which means that that is too narrow. And over here, you can see this one's perfectly in line, which is what you want. So if you're trying these out in a store and um, the size that you're going for, you're having a bit of um, overlappage over the sides of it, your, your heels are sitting over the side of the footbed then the way that you remedy this is they don't have different heel sizes is that you go up one size of the footbed. As we said, the M sizes and the size guide will be posted in the, the link in the video description, so click below if you want to see a size guide, um, so you can marry up to your either shoe size or your skate size, but just be prepared to do just a little bit of cutting as we showed you earlier on to get the size completely accurate. 
But this has just been a quick video showing you how to size these up. As we said, we're going to be filing that down to get a nice um, cleaner finish, but that's optional. If you guys have any questions or you need um, a bit more help with the sizing, as we said, this, these have their own individual sizing charts. They don't have the traditional skate sizing guides. So that will be in the video description. And if you have any trouble sizing them up, uh, be sure to post a comment and I'll uh, reply to it as soon as I can and give you guys a bit more help. But hopefully this has been useful. And for more tips and um, tutorials, visit hockeytutorial.com, link in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Thanks a lot and take care.